76 days at Vorkath was, without a doubt, one of the hardest things I've ever done in this game. My name is Ingus. Our next grind can't possibly be worse than this. And I'm on a mission to reach a 10 billion GP bank. But after I expanded my goals and decided to green log my first two bosses, I'm afraid there's no going back. Not until every boss is eradicated. Welcome to the fifth circle, Wrath. Released in 2004 and located in the Caridian Desert, the Calphite Queen is one of the most infuriating bosses in RuneScape. She has exceptional damage output ability, or in other words, she hits like a truck. And when you die, normal gravestone rules also apply, which means every death will cost me 500k. But surely the loot is worth it, right? Back on release, these items used to be worth millions of GP. In fact, the dragon chain body was a symbol of wealth. But unfortunately, as more and more better gear has entered the game, the usefulness of these items has faded with the sands of time. But then, this guy showed up. That's right, the dragon pickaxe was added to the Calphite Queen's loot table, which makes the pain of camping this boss slightly less worse. This is the price I'm gonna have to pay if I want to complete this boss. So unlike my previous videos, the question today is, how much money will I lose? And how many deaths will I suffer in this video? Welcome to the Dunes of Wrath. Let my suffering begin. Okay, you guys know the drill. We got a couple purchases to make before we start this. Yowza, I'm loaded. Psst. Definitely go watch the last video if you haven't seen it. 1.6 bill. I could do so, so much with this. It's scary. But never mind that. First order of business, let's buy some planks. Okay, so this is long overdue, but since I'll be teleporting to my house every time I kill the Calphite Queen, I'm gonna train my construction level all the way to 99. This unlocks the construction cape, which is basically an unlimited house tab. It'll be nice to have for future grinds as well, so we got the money. Let's bang this out real quick. It just feels so good to not be doing forecast. I gotta say, ah, nothing like it. Of course, I'm like 20 short. Okay, here it is. The very last table that I'll need to make for 99 construction. Wasn't too bad. I kind of enjoyed it. Only took about 10 hours. Mahogany tables, definitely worth doing over oak. It's way faster. And here is the prize. Construction cape. That don't look too bad. That looks pretty good, actually. But here's why we did that. Got some teleport options. I can teleport to any of the portals and I can teleport straight to the POH unlimited times. That didn't even put a dent in my cash stack. That is just how much money I have. I got 99 construction. What should we buy next, guys? What should we buy next? How about some Zerai Van Braces? That leaves us with 1.379 bill. I'm also gonna buy a pair of Raycon earbuds. Now, I'm not sure if this will come as a surprise to you or not, but I am a very active runner. I've been doing it for several years to help me manage stress and practice a healthy lifestyle. Having a good pair of headphones is an absolute must for me. Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point, so you can build great habits without breaking the bank. They have all kinds of products ranging from their very popular popular everyday earbuds, they have low latency gaming headphones, or if you're just looking for a speaker with a battery that will last all night at your next party, Raycon's got you covered. The first thing I noticed was how easy it is to use their touch features. Very important to me as I'm on the go. I don't want to pause my workout to be messing with my phone or anything. Raycon's everyday earbuds also come with three different sound profiles that you can switch between depending on what you're listening to. I usually use the bass sound profile because I tend to listen to a lot of EDM and hip hop. They have noise isolation if you want to be totally immersed and block out outside noise or awareness mode if you just want something playing in the background while you attend to other things. Raycons are designed to stay in your ear and they do not fall out. They're also sweat and water resistant and the battery will last you all 
day. Now, if you're ready to buy something small with a big impact, click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash ingus to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. By ordering Raycons, you'll also be supporting the channel. So big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. All right, so here's what you need to know about the Calphite Queen if you've never killed it. It has two phases. Phase one, we attack with melee and we use our Karis Partisan. Phase two, we're gonna be using ranged because it's protecting from melee. This is why I rebought the Van Braces. Oh yeah, and please do not attempt to do what I'm about to do. If you're a normal player, I would not touch this thing without a Slayer task. But since I'm an absolute maniac, I'm gonna be doing this entire grind without a Slayer helmet. Also, we've got a familiar face today with us and I'm so excited. The added crush bonus really does help with the Karis. And you know, lower defense stats really don't matter against the KQ anyways. So that's what we're working with. And I've gotten 60 chains and 298 kill count. However, not a single head until after I already completed the elite diary requirement. So in total, we got five new items to hunt down. Okay, well, that was easy. I got the Dragon 2H sword. That is one of the collection log items that we needed. So <laughs> nice. I was worried they're going to find out. I don't really tell anyone what I'm killing as long as possible. See how much this bad boy is worth. Oh, well, <laughs> first item down. Oh, Lord, I'm being attacked in my own house. Okay, not even 20 kills in. There goes the first death. Do me a favor. Go ahead and guess how many deaths I'll have by the end of this video. Don't be afraid to hit that sub button too. It's looking very cute today. That is our first death so far. Minus half a million. Oh yeah, this is how I have my gear tab layout. Makes banking pretty easy and quick when I just need to hop on, do a couple kills. Whoa, okay, 56. That is a huge... 67. Oh wait, oh yeah, it has the effect. That's right. There's a 1 in 51 chance that the Karis does triple damage, which is why it's best in slot here. I definitely... Well, that's number two. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, armor means nothing at the Cal Fight Queen. Absolutely nothing. May as well be wearing a paper bag. 25 Renar weeds. That's a pretty decent drop. 350 kills. <gasps> ah, no, I thought it was the pet. It's just the KQ head. Well, I guess uh, for the clan, they're going to know exactly what I've been doing. So yeah, Basher knows. Luckily, there aren't that many people online. Two out of uh, five collection logs already obtained on the first day okay i know you're gonna laugh at me i'm selling back the van braces you'll see why in a second lost a few mil there but hey that's the theme of this video isn't it at long last after almost three solid months of grinding for cap the best magic weapon in the game is mine Time to test this. Yeah, for phase two, the range setup doesn't even come close. Look at that. It's a 42% difference. A 63. That is insane. Day two, head two. What it do? Oh, well, that's number three. No shot. There's just no shot. This does. This is not okay. Literally four since I started this video. Okay, the shadow is pretty good, but you still die. So I'm not sure if there's a way to fix that. Yes, I just got a dragon and a dragon 2H. What the fuck? Yo, dude, that's gotta be so rare. Yeah, <laughs> yes. That is so sick. They're gonna think it's like wildy bosses or a volcanic mine, you know? I don't think anyone's gonna actually guess that I'm doing KQ because it just doesn't make sense. Why I would, why anyone would guess. We've gotten all of the common drops out of the way. And the nice thing is the dragon pickaxe will pay for some of the supplies that I get. Hopefully we get more of these. Now it's the hard part. Oh, there's no way. There's, there's actually not a single chance in hell 
that that is the fifth one. What is it? It's just raining drops. I love this. It's such a nice change of pace. I will take another one. Number four. So on top of the shadow being the best DPS here, it's also nice over the blowpipe because I can do the step under method. It's kind of annoying to do that with a blowpipe. Another dragon chain body. Ah, uh, I got greedy. I got greedy. I shouldn't have done that. I think my brain was a little delayed on that one. Uh, back to back. So I think that's the uh, that's the last one for tonight. Wait, my food is still here from last night. How long does it stay here? <laughs> so I was doing double spec dragon claws at the start of every kill, but I have just received word that there is a better spec weapon than dragon claws. Can you believe that? Here it is, the Void Waker, AKA Karasi if you played back in the day. As you can see, it's not very cheap. So I'm gonna have to sell my claws and probably this Venator bow in order to afford it. So hopefully it sells. Okay, the Void Waker has sold. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to try this out. Oh, just look at that. Look at that. What kind of menacing technology is this, man? Oh, I can't wait to use it. Oh my God, it's good. Holy shit. 60 into a 70. That's so crazy. Shout out to Notafail for letting me know. I'm so glad I, I bought the bullet. I bit the bullet and bought it. That's a weird sentence. Hey, another dragon chain body. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. It hasn't been that many kills, but hey, I'll take another one. I just got another one. All right. Yeah, I'll take another one. Yeah, that, that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And a rune chain body too. We got, you know, different tiers. There we are. Made it to 500 kill count. Just a little restocking on the mantas. And I love this blade. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought this. I think this is just how things are going to go. Uh, <laughs> Yes, up to six now. Cool. And nine dragon chain bodies. <laughs> I sound so pissed. I'm really not that pissed. I just, I, I should have been sitting. I was too reclined, okay? I was too reclined. That's a slurpy. Okay, why Why do I keep, I'm just gonna, what? I, 400, wait, 550, there we go. Okay, I'm actually kind of curious with this setup. How many kills am I gonna get in one hour? The results are in 26. I got 26 kills in one hour with this setup off task. And like all that stuff is like- Sorry, I just got a dragon pickaxe. <laughs> That's why I guessed. <laughs> Wait, a dragon pick off a cow bike, please? Yeah, I'll say hi to the microphone. Dude, I look away for one second. This is, this is how the KQ works, isn't it? <sighs> this is one thing I'm not really used to dealing with <laughs> since I was at Vorkath for so long is that I actually have to compete for a world since these are not instants. That kinda sucks, does slow things down a bit. Maybe there's some ways to get around that eventually. Ah! Cause then this happens. Yep, this this happens, I'll die. And then, you know, I go back to loot my grave. Someone's taking the world. <sighs> Lost 500K. <laughs> it's only been like a couple days and I, I've probably already died more here than I have at Vorkath. That is just, uh, I don't know how it's happening. What a way to start the day. Kill number 666. There's another dragon pickaxe for the bank. She's literally coming up with a new word like every day now. Really? Yeah, she's, so she's cool. saying geese and goose. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> when it registers, man, come on. 700. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Jar of sand. Yes. No way, it's right there. Oh no, they know, they know now. Oh no. I am a jar magnet. Look at this. We have obtained the jar of sand at 723 kills. So we are just missing the pet at this point. Look, I am not about to have a repeat of last video. So whatever dark spirits I need to summon for this pet, let's make it happen.
guess I'm dead. You know, this is starting to piss me off. <laughs> Come on, that's three sevens. That's three sevens. Hey, yo, it's been a... Gosh, I don't... I can't remember how long it's been. It hasn't been that long, probably. There's another dragon pickaxe. All right, so that is four dragon pickaxes so far. I mean, that's not bad. By the way, we have a sick bingo event going on right now in my Discord. We went pretty hard on this one and even produced a few videos for it. So if you'd like to join in future events like this, definitely check out my Discord. God... Okay, that's another dragon chain body. Why can't I get lucky at a boss that actually makes me money? <laughs> Sorry about that. I just got another jar. Ah, oh, man. Is it good? Uh, no, I already have one. Just when you think it can't possibly max you, it maxes you, of course. Aha! That is why I haven't been getting any clue scrolls. Good thing I caught this now rather than later. Okay, well, day number six. There there we go, right right away, another clue scroll. They they're now they're coming. It's always the worst trying to pick up that extra shark. It just, it's just—it's never worth it because this happens every time, bro. Every time. Okay, just completed a master clue. I think what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna save them up until the end of the grind. So however many we have, we'll open them at the end. There we go. Got another one. Nine hundred. Nine fifty. I'm still getting a lot of these, by the way. They just keep coming. We have entered the quadruple digits. Another one. Can't believe I'm still getting these. All right, day number seven and a D chain. I would be so rich if this was 2004. There's another 100 kills down. Haha, <laughs> just don't mind me sacrificing my soul for this pack. I had to go for it and it didn't pay off unless. Uh. 138 that is probably the biggest hit i've seen so far houston we may have a problem i only have 763k left <laughs> that's one more death and then i'll have to sell some stuff good morning rise and shine day number eight yep yep we have reached absolute filth on the log look at this unreal unreal luck don't forget to hit your death quota for the day. Eeple deeple. <laughs> I may have had a glass of wine tonight, but that is another jar of sand. Ugh. Damn it. All right, got my uh, caskets. Just I, I just spent like an hour doing clue scrolls. Maybe I'll stack up 10. Uh, I'm not sure. Literally... Literally the kill. I want to kill my boss, man. Sometimes I want to kill my boss. We aren't deep. We aren't that deep. I think Jagex is just rubbing salt in the wound at this point with the amount of these I've had. We might be running into a problem here. Um, I forgot I had to buy implings. And my cash tag is extremely low. I might have to sell something. Yeah, perfect. I, I complain about how expensive implant jars are. And I just burned 300 on a single clue. Uh, make it stop. <laughs> ah! 1400. 1400 kills of suffering. I want to... Oh my god. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. Oh, bro. That is... That's just... That's just embarrassing. I've ran out of money. Something to sell. Something to sell. I guess I could sell these Onyx Bolts and the Nihil Shards. I think I got those from Nex or something. I don't know where I got those. But those should suffice for a time. Perfect. Now I can go die again. Okay, there's no chance it hits me. Damn it. <laughs> ah, I, I, I play it too risky for this boss. Yo, it's been a little while since I've seen one of these. I 
I can't remember exactly how long it's been, but oh, it's, what a way to brighten my day. A little morsel. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. Yes! 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 Yes, dude! Yes! No way! Yes, dude! Oh my god, dude! I got I gotta find it's about to respawn. It's two seconds left. Yes, dude! Yeah. Dude, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This could have been so much worse, dude. I'm sorry, Will. Oh my god. I'm sweating right now. I saw the pop-up, man. <laughs> yes! Oh, dude, I'm so... I, I, I have to take a minute. Dude, the cow fight queen pet is so sick, man. Look at this. And just like that, I was handed the entire Calphite Queen collection log on a silver platter. All right, here we go. We got five master clues. Let's see what happens. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna open this treasure chest as well. All right, we got our lucky gold bar from the pirate event. Left eye patch, very fitting. Another left eye. We just got two left. That's that's kind of rare. And nothing. Well, you know, what can you expect, right? Yeah, this is perfect. I got one for myself, and I got one for my Calphite princess as well. Okay, so yeah, I didn't even have time to uh, really make a loot tab. So let's just pull it out right now. I have my loot tracker so I can pick out everything. Okay, so it looks like we have recouped 40 million GP, almost exactly 10,000 charges, like almost to a T. That's crazy. So taking the cost of food, charges, and deaths, we spent a total of 31.8 mil, which does leave us in the positive. However, I also spent 100 mil on construction, lost some money on the van braces as well. But that is a green log on the Calphite Queen. Ah. I'm so happy. Bank value is up to 6.7 bill. Did I lose money or did I make money? I think the market... Okay, technically, I think I did lose money, but the market went up. So you win some, you lose some. You know, there does come a time in every man's life where the Vorkath saga has ended. And a new champion arrives. This is this is too good to be true, dude. I thought I was gonna be a prisoner at this box. This is too good one to get early. All of the lads definitely deserved after Vorkath, man. KQ mm -hmm. is yeah. just not. It's not fun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. I killed Calphite Queen and now I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs>